Hey there, how are you doing guys? It's Jean and welcome back to my channel. We are going to draw patch pockets using pad. Patch pockets are not difficult at all to draft. It's just rectangle or square, sometimes it's pointed or curved, right? So today I'm going to show you how to utilize pad to draft those pieces. So we are not going to focus on patch pocket themselves, but the tools we can use to create these kind of pieces. Let's go. Before we started to draft, I want to tell you the grain line on the screen. Pad, cover, and electra all the same. The grain line is horizontal. If you draft a back body, it's gonna be like this. You can create the pattern this way if you want and after that you can rotate it. But if you just started to learn pad or cover, it's better to practice work this way. So just keep in mind the grain line. Okay, let's make pad pocket. If your pad pocket is just square or rectangle, then click the rectangle tool on the toolbar. Uh, if your mouse is there, it will show you the tool name. See? It's a rectangle. Click the tool. And then hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click on the screen anywhere. You're going to have this dialog box. You can enter the width and height. Remember the grain line. So width is your length of the pocket. Height is your width of the pocket. If your pocket is simply a rectangle, then that's it. You can create a pocket like this. It's simple, right? Let's make a pointed pocket. This is the bottom line of the pocket. So I'm going to find the center point of this line. I selected the line first and there's the tool named divide segment. Click the tool and click the line we selected. We're going to divide the line by two. So you got the point here. Click the point tool and select the point. And then hold down both Control and Alt key at the same time on your keyboard and click the pointer tool. Dialog box comes up. You don't want to move the point on Y axis. We want to move the point one inch to the left, right? So enter minus one on X and OK you have a pointed patch pocket. You can do the other way around. From the beginning, you create the rectangle 7 inches by 5 inches, and then you find the center point the same way, and select two points on the edge rather than the point in the middle. Move up by 1 inch. You have the same result. Okay, uh, let's make rounded patch pockets. Click the rectangle tool, create a rectangle first. Same, 6 inches by 5 inches. Select the bottom line, uh, we'll create the point 1 inch far from the edge. So you can find the tool, add point to segment. Click the tool and click the point distance 1 inch and OK. The same way to the other corner. Click the point, enter 1 inch. Click OK. Select the top line and add a point 1 inch from the end. Do the same thing on the bottom line. So you already added a total of 4 points. You're going to select two points 
on the corner. When you select two points, you hold down the shift key and select the point. You got it? Uh, and go to treatment, item info. You change the point regular to control and click OK. Now you have a curved pocket. Remember we added the point one inch from each corner. If you do half inch, you will have a smaller curve like this. If you do two inches, you will have a big rounded pocket. There are several different ways to do the same job. It's not only one way to create or alter the pieces with the pad. So you will figure out uh, what's the best for you. Okay guys, I hope this is helpful for some of you. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.